Yum yum. Greg here from Pixel Fondue. Let's talk point alignment. Not super sexy, but it's something you do a lot every day, probably when you're modeling. And although Moto has some built-in tools for this, they're kind of, um, they're not super intuitive or fast. In fact, a lot of them are numeric based and a lot of them are kind of hacks like using the scale tool to do something like this where you just hit that zero and align it like that. Um, not the best way to do it. There's much better ways out there. And this video is gonna show you a set of scripts by Cynic and Menard and Ariel Chai that have been packaged together in something called Super Aligners by Cristobal Villa. And it's over here on his Ateria Studios website, Super Aligners. There's also a thread on the Foundry forums where he shows you how to install it, sort of what they do, how to bind it to a keyboard shortcut, all that stuff I'm not gonna show you how to do. You can figure it out on your own. I will put links in the YouTube description or if you're viewing this on pixelfondue.com, the link should be in the text above if I've done my job right. The reason I like Super Aligner so much is that it's very fast and intuitive to use. So I grab this line of points again and press Control-5, which is a hotkey I've assigned to this set of scripts. You'll see I've got a line up and then a line down. Swipe right, align right, swipe left, align left. I also have a line horizontal to the middle and a line vertical to the middle and a couple more pop-up menus I'll get to in a second. But in general, it's just very quick. If I go right here, it'll align everything to the farthest point to the right, which is this guy. Middle mouse drag, get those guys, press control five, swipe left, swipe up, swipe down. So I'm swiping left, right, up, down. I'm not thinking X, Y, Z. I'm not thinking coordinates. I'm not thinking you know, activating multiple tools. It's just very easy to use. And I can do it in the perspective view as well. So it's smart enough to say, if I get a little off kilter here like this, in fact, I can even use edges instead of points. And if I do control five up, it, it aligns them up. Control five down, aligns them down. Pretty cool, right? Get rid of the uh, work plane and go to the front view again. Now, what if I want to have two loops selected? If I have these two loops selected here and I go control five left, it's gonna move everything to the farthest point left, like right here. That's not what we want, right? We want each of these to be aligned independently. Well, we can do that, we just, just on the same pie menu. Control five, each aligners, and I say left, it'll align each loop independently to the farthest point to the left. Same thing if I grab these guys here and say align each up. Pretty cool, right? So let's say I want to align everything to this guy right here. Well, I just select him last, grab everything but that guy, grab him last, control five and head over to XYZ aligners. This gives me a pop-up menu, which I can you know, use the new um, pinning feature and park it right there and say Y align, and it's going to align everything to the last selected point. So I can do that with these as well. So I want to align everything to this guy right there. I just select a last, so select all these points, select this guy last and say X align, boom. I can also align in more than one axis. So let's say I want to align this point and this point on top of this point, I can align in X and Y, like that. I don't wanna do that normally in, in this type of situation, but there's plenty of situations where you want to align in two axes at once and you can do that here. I can also put things in the center. So if I look at perspective mode, Go above, let me just actually jitter this a bit to mess it up, deform, jitter and drag. Okay, so here they're all off on Z. What if I want everything on Z zero? No problem, I just hit Z to zero. There we go, everything's on Z zero. I can also, let's say, let me bring my grid up, take all these polygons and move them over here and center the polygons, like X center, using these commands like you'd normally use over here, but they're all nicely put in this um, one layout. So I can center on Y, center on X, Y, Z at the same time, whatever. So that is very useful. So you can zero out anything, you can center anything on any number of axes, and you can also align very specifically with multiple, multiple axes to the last selected point. So you'll use these a fair amount. I think in general, you'll mostly just grab things and use the um, up, down, left, right thing like that. Okay, what else can we do? Well, there's one other set of scripts I have assigned to control six. So we have control five and control six. In fact, I can pin these guys as well. This guy operates a little bit differently. Let's say I wanted to make this into a diamond. So I can just move this point up here and then grab this point first and this point last. And on the X and Y axes, it will align everything in a straight line between the first and last points. So when I say X and Y, boom, like that. Do this over here between X and Y. Uh, control R, if you wanna repeat the command, we'll do it. Um, 
you can also let me move this out Let's just do my continue my making a diamond deal here so again i want to in fact i'll probably do it this way grab this first and this last but this time i want them to be uniformly spaced so i want each point to be uniformly spaced along the straight line so i can say x y uni and we have a uniform spacement or spacement that's a new word spacement uniform spacement between each line maybe that is a word i don't know um spacing i think right uniform spacing or spacement i kind of like spacement new term spacement so again x y line uni there we go hey it's an arrow it's a nice way to make an arrow right left right got a nice little arrow let's just uh put these guys in line in fact let me um just get all super anal on everybody let's use our align each left now my arrow's screwed up, but no fear. I can fix my arrow very quickly, right? Boom, X, Y, line, uni, and same thing over here. In fact, if I press Control R, it'll just repeat that command, boom, and there's my sweet, sweet arrow. In fact, if I move these guys up to the last selected one, remember that, Y line to the last selected one, like that, I think I had a guy there already. I didn't really want to do that, but you get the idea. Anyway, so you can do all kinds of alignments. I think the most um, useful are the very quick swipes, swipe up, down, left, right, um, and the horizontal and vertical. You can align multiple things at once. You can align to the last selected. You can center anything or zero anything, or you can create straight lines out of anything. Super, super useful. Yum, yum.